Hi, I'm Scott from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team, and today I'm going to show you how to plate with the newest PT Lux Platinum Plating Solution from Labor. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my piece fixtured up in some stainless steel wire, so it's not gonna, not gonna fall down into the plating solution. So the first thing I need to do is I need to electroclean. Uh, electroclean is a very important step to make sure that the piece is as clean as possible, so that way we get a blemish-free plating. So I'm going to turn on the rectifier to 5.8 volts. This is optimum voltage for electrocleaning. Uh, my electric cleaner has already been heated up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and we will want to put it in there for 60 seconds. Uh, we're also using a stainless steel anode in the electric cleaner. Set my timer. While you may be wondering if other cleaning methods are viable, such as, say, ultrasonic or steam cleaning, uh, there are variables in there because you have things like soaps that could remain on the surface and could resist the, the plating. So we highly recommend using electrocleaner to clean your pieces prior to plating. Okay, our 60 seconds are done. So I'm gonna stop my timer and turn off my rectifier. I'm gonna go into my first rinse cup to rinse off any electric cleaner. This is just deionized water or distilled water will work just fine. We wanna get as much of the electric cleaner off of the piece as possible. And then I'm gonna dip in the acid dip. Acid dip is a neutralizing solution. So it will neutralize any electric cleaner that may be still on the surface. Uh, we just need to kind of dip it for maybe about 10 seconds or so. And then after the acid dip, I'm going to go into my second rinse to remove as much of the acid dip as I can. Uh, we're, we're trying to prevent cross contamination here. We don't want any acid dip or any electro cleaner in our plating solution. So for the platinum plating solution, I want to adjust this down to 1.8 volts. That is optimum voltage for the PT Lux solution. So there we go, 1.8 volts. We are using a platinized titanium anode in the PT Lux, and we want it sub submerged in the solution for about 90 seconds. Now you will see some very small bubbles coming off of the piece as you're plating. That's a good sign. That means that everything is working as it should. You will want to give it some mild agitation. Uh, you don't have to use a magnetic stirring system. Uh, just lightly move it inside the solution to dislodge those bubbles. But the nice part about a platinum plating solution is that it offers an affordable alternative to something like rhodium. With rhodium prices the way they are at this current point in time, platinum plating solution is a good alternative. It can also be used as a preplate in the place of nickel or palladium. So if you want to keep those plated pieces nickel free, you do have the option to use this platinum plating solution. Okay, my 90 seconds are up. I'm gonna turn off my rectifier and I'm gonna go into my third rinse to rinse off any plating solution. And then I'm gonna go back into the acid dip to neutralize any plating solution that may still be on the surface. And then rinse one more time. And that's it. This piece is done and ready to go out. Thank you for watching this video on how to use the PT Lux Platinum Plating Solution. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.